it has been almost a year and a half since I have been to Northeast Pennsylvania. It is one of my favorite hidden gems in the state of Pennsylvania. Tonight, we're packing up, hitting the road, and we're heading home. We made it to America, we crossed the border, and it was the first time I brought my vehicle across the land border since 2019. Uh, it's a bit surreal, it's nice to be back. Uh, right now, we're currently parked outside of Buffalo, New York, just got gas and snacks. Probably won't have a lot of footage from this part because it's night driving, but next time I see you, we'll be in Pennsylvania. We've been married for two years, and we've been together for just over three. This is the first time we've made the trip to Pennsylvania together in the car. Yep. I'm sure you're so excited about my driving. Thrilled. And Wesley's coming too. Wesley's oh. really fun too. We made it to Northeast Pennsylvania, which is also my second home. This is where Adrian's from, and I haven't been back here since September of last year and prior to that Christmas. The pandemic has made it hard for us to come down, but I can't believe how easy it was now that the borders reopened to Canadians for us to get down here. If you don't know Northeast Pennsylvania, this is home to Scranton. And you might've heard of Scranton from a little NBC show called The Office. On this episode of Aimlessly Wandering, we're gonna check out Northeast Pennsylvania. If you're as big as a fan of The Office as I am, then you definitely can't come to Northeast Pennsylvania without stopping in Scranton, the electric city. Fictional home to our favorite friends, cast and crew of The Office. Chances are, if you're a fan of The Office, you know Cooper's. Cooper's is the fictional bar and restaurant where the crew hung out after work hours. In Scranton, Pennsylvania, it's an actual seafood place, and sometimes the cast has been known to come by. Let's check it out. If you ever wanted to get someone a Dundee, you can get a Dundee here. There you go, the original Cooper Seafood in Scranton, Pennsylvania. On and On Scranton is one of my favorite antique shops in all of Northeast Pennsylvania. But it's also one of my favorite spots because it has this amazing Dwight Schrute mural. All right, so if you've ever watched The Office, you've heard them refer to the Steamtown Mall, and that's where we are right now. But it's nothing like what they showed in this office, the TV show, because that was California. But this is Steamtown Mall. So this is the original City of Scranton sign that you saw in the opening scene of The Office. They've since changed it, but this is the OG. Scranton isn't just known for The Office. In fact, it's also known as the birthplace to President Joe Biden, who lived in this very house for the first 10 years of his life before moving to Delaware. Scranton loves Joe Biden so much, they actually renamed the Central Scranton Expressway to President Joe Biden Expressway.
So one of the main reasons of coming to Pennsylvania this trip was to be with family. Family that I haven't seen in just over a year and a half due to the pandemic. I am really grateful to be here now that the border restrictions are slowly loosening up. But more importantly, I'm excited for my third Thanksgiving. This is probably one of my favorite things about coming to the farm, exploring the 72 acres my in-laws have and riding on quads. So much fun. So this is the back creek where in the fall and winter, it's hunting season, we're out here exploring, checking out what's good. go my 17th million COVID test and your 20th million yeah that's like my one of my 21st yeah COVID test. I feel like that one was easier though because like they don't make you do it like in your mouth but we're becoming pros at in this in your mouth you've never done the mouth swab no oh yeah they do it like on your cheeks first and then up your nose no I've oh had, I've like, had that 20 some and they're all nose oh. well there you go we got our millionth COVID test now we'll get the results in an hour and we'll be ready for Canada hopefully if we're positive, I don't know what the f we're gonna do. If you're a fan of black magic, occult, and all that dark underground stuff, this is a store you have to check out. This is the original strange and unusual store in Kingston, Pennsylvania, which was started by one of the former Ink Master winners and a former band member of Motionless and White. They grew to be so successful that they've opened up a second location, which is located in Philadelphia. This is the strange and unusual in Kingston, Pennsylvania. We're at Madern's Floral Cafe here in Kingston, Pennsylvania, and it is just a pink floral wonderland, um, and they're decorated for Christmas right now with lots of pink Christmas trees, love it. Cold days call for peppermint hot chocolate. 
<laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> It's our last morning in Pennsylvania, and of course it decided to snow. Oh well, we'll get back to Ontario safe, I'm sure. It's been a great trip. We've checked out uh, the office tour. We did Cooper Seafood. We did the Steamtown Mall. We checked out a cool Dwight mural. We also visited the Strange and Unusual in Kingston and Mattern's Floral Cafe in Kingston. You never know where we're gonna aimlessly wander off to next, so be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and alert button so that you're notified when we hit the road again. Until then, we're gonna hit the road and get back on up to Canada. Let's go. One of my favorite places in Northeast Pennsylvania is Curry's Donuts. If you know, you know. So the thing about Curry's Donuts is that unlike a lot of the common donut places, they actually make theirs fresh. So this is fresh off the press. And I got just the plain old honey glaze. It's like Krispy Kreme except better. Anyone who's lived in Pennsylvania or has visited Pennsylvania knows that the locals always fight about which is better, Sheets or Wawa. We're Team Sheets. This is a Sheets. Normally not a fan of gas station food, but everyone that has eaten at Sheets has said it's good. So we're gonna try this custom made burrito that I had. See if it's any good. I mean, it's a good size. I'm actually impressed. Not bad for a middle of nowhere sheet. We stopped at Sheets, got our snacks, and now it's time to hit the road once again and get back to Canada. Overall, I'll say that uh, for a gas station, I'm quite impressed with Sheets. It was made to order and it was actually spicy, which was nice. Um, totally not what I expected at all. Canada, here we come. Just crossed the border back into Canada, so that concludes our trip. We're in Niagara Falls now, and we're going home.